Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 11 October 2024. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly writer Sabrina Jardim explains how Digimine is building the next generation of tech-savvy and socially aware mining engineers. As the global mining industry increasingly adopts technology such as AI and automation, partnerships between academia and industry are poised to play a pivotal role in ensuring the continuous professional development of mining engineers. The engineering news features focus on pumps, where a strategic approach enables effective dewatering. And Transport Month, where a new payment system contract is signed for non-conventional public transport users. The Mining Weekly features focus on mining in West Africa, where added regional focus is key in a miner's strategic priorities. And Motors Drives and Mechanical Power Transmission, where redesigned brakes offer improved performance. This week's business leader is Klaus Plenge, the MD of Tetra Pak, Southern Africa. And as this week's cartoon shows, the lack of grid capacity has emerged as a key constraint to South Africa's renewable energy ambitions. There's still no obvious agreement on the model that could be used to add capacity through independent power transmission projects. So policymakers will have to show skill and agility if they're to navigate this balancing act. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.